With more analysis of what we know so far in the crash of the German wings Airbus, we are joined by Safety Operating System CEO John Cox, who has more than 10,000 hours piloting commercial jetliners and been involved in six major national travel safety board investigations. Thank you for joining us, sir. Okay. Uh, Ca Captain Cox, uh, a few things here we, we need to uh, get through. Uh, we're hearing from the prosecutor that this looks like it could have been a deliberate crash by the co-pilot. Uh, what is your reaction to that? I'm, I'm virtually speechless. It's impossible for me to to understand how a professional pilot could do such a thing. And as a result, uh, I'm, I'm sickened, I'm saddened. Uh, it just, it's very hard for me to understand how someone could do that. Captain Cox, what are the reasons that a pilot would leave the cockpit to go into the regular cabin? Uh, generally speaking, on a short haul flight like the German Wings flight, it's purely a physiological need on the part of one of the pilots. It's, it's typically the lavatory. Otherwise, pilots will stay in the flight deck. Okay, and tell us about the, the process that uh, a pilot has to go through, or the co-pilot for that matter, when they want to leave the cockpit and open that armored door. Well, there is a, a definite protocol of how the, uh, the process of letting a pilot out and ensuring that security is maintained. Oftentimes, there'll be a flight attendant that will come in, and that way the, there's two people in the flight deck, but also it ensures that the person asking for admission back into the flight deck is properly identified. So it's uh, whether this occurred at German Wings and whether it's required there, uh, my research has come up with various answers, so I, I can't give you a definitive answer, but that is a protocol that is used widely around the world. Uh, and that's a very important thing. And uh, they're trying to get through that door pretty much Im impossible as we, we, we hear screams from the pilot trying to get back and kick his way through the door. Basically, not, not even a, a chance of that, right? The hardened cockpit doors are designed to withstand quite a bit of force. And uh, they, in the post 9-11 environment, uh, that's, that's what we want. But this is a case of matching security uh, concerns kind of on both sides of it. An event such as this is so extraordinarily rare. Uh, I, it's just, it's, it's virtually unimaginable. And so the, the issues uh, in the post 9-11 world have been more focused on the inappropriate attempt to hijack the airplane. And obviously one of the things that's gonna come out of this investigation is a review of all the security protocols. And I think that that review will be very healthy and what the outcome will be will improve safety going forward. Okay, thank you very much, Captain John Cox. We appreciate your time, sir.